This is Mark. Welcome to one of my other tent trailer modifications, although this can be done to any uh, towable trailer. I'm just going to go over what I did to make this front box, and I'll show you some of the really cool modifications uh, done, which have made uh, my camping a lot easier since I do a lot of boondock camping. Uh, this is, like I said, essential equipment for boondock camping. You're going to love it. Uh, let's take a look and see what's there. You can see the box. The bo that box is made out of... Uh, angle iron, uh, some luon and other plywood, scrap plywood I had around the house. I just molded it to match the normal uh, A-frame of the trailer, which you can see there, it's in the front. So it sat on the tongue perfectly. It's open on the bottom, which is an essential part and makes it easier to get to all the wiring and everything. And uh, let me show you what I did here. So it's just, uh, again, painted black steel. A lot of screws that's angle iron by the way I used a uh, one inch angle iron and um, some flat stock in a couple different portions let me open it up so you can take a look it looks like a little bit of a mess but what I've done is I've left some of the wiring open to show you a lot of the time I have it wrapped in uh, material so it's not so much of a mess so uh, this was a single uh, tank system that I changed over to a dual so you can see the dual tank system there, which has a switch from side to side. This was originally an older trailer, so it didn't have uh, the propane fittings that you could do by hand. I added those in when I did it too. Um, double tank systems are great. I actually went uh, out camping about seven or eight times last year and managed to last just fine the whole season off the two tanks. And that was about uh, almost three to four weeks worth of camping. I'm just going to unplug this to get it out of the way here and let you take a look. All right, so on this side of the camper, you can see that I have uh, a single deep cell battery. And, uh, or though, if you want to make this a little bigger and run your tongue out a little further, you can fit uh, two six volt golf cart batteries, which will last a little longer. Uh, the deficit to that is. Those batteries are almost the same size as that one. It adds a lot of weight on, but it will buy you a lot more time out in boondock camping. A couple things I put underneath here are this item, which you can see, uh, which is a solar charger. That solar charger during the day, I have a solar panel that I attach out to uh, onto that, and that helps to charge the battery during the day so you can run the radio and some of your basic supplies during the day. If you pan out to the other side here, uh, what I did is I went to Home Depot and added this onto the side of the box. And what it is in here, and that's my wiring that I can pull out. Here, I'll just get here. Pull out this wire and attach my solar cell to this right here. And my solar cell goes to that. And then I can charge the battery during the day. Also uh, added into the system is everything, with the exception of the chargers, of course, is wired through this. What this does is this makes gives me the ability to have a master switch. And so you run your power through here and then back into the trailer. And then again, uh, so you don't have to remember to shut that power switch off when the trailer, in this case, this pop-up is closed. You just have the master switch, and the nice ability about that is this master switch. I went to Harbor Freight, and it was on sale at the time. Five, six bucks, I had this master switch, which I flip it this way. Of course, you can see the key doesn't go anywhere. I flip it that way, it's on. Now the trailer has power, and I flip it off, which is much easier than in this StarCraft model. You have to go in underneath the seat and turn on the power that way. This way, I just leave it on battery all the time. I can turn the power on and off here. Some other needed modifications for good boondock camping is this. Uh, this item here is another unfortunately Harbor Freight item and what this does is this allows me to charge the trailer. When I have it in the garage I of course have this plugged in so it keeps my battery here charged. Uh, when I am camping I use a small generator and then what I do is I've ran this plug into the inner part of the camper, which I just do need to silicone that, of course, so I don't end up with any water getting in there. 
so I run this plug into the camper and plug it into the wiring system inside the camper so that while I'm running the generator, I then uh, am also charging the battery. So what you want to do if you're a boondock camper is you want to make sure that you never leave any opportunity to not have the battery charging. That way you can get the most joy out of camping. A couple other things I've added. You can see the wiring that goes out to the front here. In the event I needed it for anything, I've added a cigarette lighter adapter onto the battery. And the nice thing about this cigarette lighter, as you can see, it's sealed and spring-loaded so that uh, I don't have to worry about any moisture or condensation getting in there. I've also put in this light, which is just a plain old Walmart light, which gives me the ability, if it's dark and I have to do anything around the tongue for any reason, or I'm doing any late night uh, camping where I need to be able to see uh, where I am uh, jacking the tongue down or doing anything with the wiring. It gives me a little ability to work out here. I'm also going to be probably adding another light uh, to this lid as well. If I add another light to my lid, it gives me the ability to kind of see down into here. A couple other things you just noticed that I hit was, uh, of course, this is a, a radio antenna. I put a radio inside my camper. Uh, of course, these older models didn't come with radios, so uh, I added in a radio that has a USB adapter so you can plug in the iPod as well. Uh, I also, by the way, you might want to do as a good thing for yourself is label your tanks. So I have a tank 1 and a tank 2, so I know which tank I'm on and I know which one I'm burning up first. The one thing I will say that's negative about these, which is an add-in as well, is these gauges really don't show low to your truly, truly low. It's not really a good warning of running out. It just tells you, yeah, the tank's kind of empty and will be empty, oh, in about 30 minutes or so. So by the time it goes off green, you're in a lot of trouble. So that's why I went to a dual tank system. Both tanks have a gauge on them so I know exactly when I'm running out of gas and can switch over, of course, to the other one. Again, another essential for boondock camping. You don't want to be out there uh, with nothing and not have the ability to have plenty of propane. And two tanks, let me tell you, two five-gallon tanks for boondock camping, I run everything off these. I run uh, the hot water heater, which is in this camper. I run uh, the, the a grill. I run uh, burners. I run the heaters at night. Uh, when it's cold outside, this has a heater in it, which heats the camper to wonderful up to 80 degrees if you want to. Uh, so I have everything. And that, again... That essential charging ability is also essential because that heater runs off having a great battery as well because, of course, the heater needs a fan in which to push the heat into the camper. So as you can see, these are essentials for boondock camping. And if you want to boondock camp, spend a little bit of money in, your uh, in the front end of your camper and make sure you have everything, which is a minimum dual propane tanks, uh, plenty of abilities to charge. And again, when I'm out camping use the generator I would plug these two items in together and so the generator is charging my battery if I'm not charging it that way then I'm charging it with the solar cell charger which is right there alright if you have any questions or concerns or uh, comments feel free to uh, throw a comment on and I'll reply if you need some hints to be able to make, learn how to make this feel free to give me a call I mean uh, excuse me feel free to uh, comment and I will get back to you and I can't say how essential putting the cover on all this was. The cover gave me the ability to mount all this stuff. Uh, it gave me the ability to, of course, lock it up so that nothing gets in there and the kids don't get in there or any bystanders passing by don't get in there, which is nice. And again, this essential item right here gave me the ability to, when I leave, if I go to do something, go ATV ride and whatever I'm going to do, I can shut the power off and I know no electricity is running through the tent trailer, which makes it safe for uh, fire hazard or anything like that. It's all fantastic stuff, all essentials for boondock camping. Again, lights, plenty of power, plenty of propane, can't stress it enough. This system has worked wonderfully and has never failed me yet. If you need any advice or any help, hey comment and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Have a great time camping. Enjoy the adventures out there and enjoy the video.